Yo, yo, what's up, what's up, man? New Jack Thriller City, and we're back. Hey, this is my favorite part of the show right here, man. This is the Chef Showcase, man. Celebrity Chef, man, to the goddamn stars. And uh, you are, talk about the one in the star inside of my eye right here. Yo, Will, bring it down for my man, dog. Bring it down for my man, Chef Elliot. Chef Elliot, what's up, baby? What's going on? Man, how you feeling today? I'm Gucci. Okay, man, I'm really excited to have you on the show. You're doing big things and whatnot. You got the Lifetime series that you know what I'm saying, doing the craft services for, doing all this famous shit yeah. and whatnot. And you over here at New Jack Thriller City, man, about to serve us up, you know what I'm saying, with a cherry on top. We is excited. I'm Literally excited. With a cherry Everybody on top. excited. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. Man, so, where does it all start, bro? Like, where, where you from? I'm a native Atlanta. Me too. I'm from Decatur. No, I'm from Atlanta. Uh, oh, no, no. You, I see. You just, okay. You one of them? Uh, you trying to say that Decatur? Marlin Avenue, Atlanta. Oh, oh, oh okay. So you, you trying to tell me that Decatur ain't Atlanta? That's what I'm saying. That's what you're trying to tell me. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Tell exactly me saying. why Decatur ain't in Atlanta, bro. Because it's Decatur. J okay. <laughs> and okay. it's DeKalb County. I'm from Fulton County. Oh, man, man, check this out, bro. I was I was at Freak Nick. I was at 559. I was at 112, man. How you going to play me like that? I ain't playing your brother. I'm just telling you the reality. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, man. Is that where you learn how to uh, hone your skills as a chef? Actually, it is. Okay. Actually, it is. That what was... was the first thing you ever cooked in your life? Cornbread. Cornbread. Southern style cornbread. Out of cornbread. everything you could have cooked, you made some cornbread. Southern style. I make the best dog on. Can I cuss? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I said I, it. Fuck it. So you I can make, too. I make the best cornbread you ever did want to have. Oh, wow. Wow. The best southern, not jiffy. Okay. Homemade cornbread. And man, I don't even know what that means. I just be eating it. You just be eating it. I just be eating it. I don't even know what that means, but I like I like, you know what I'm saying, homemade everything. Okay, well we So who taught you how? Was this your grandmama? This was your mama? This was my uh my great aunts. Great aunt. My great aunt. She was a chef. Well, all of them. All they of were just them. excellent cooks. Okay. And two of them are still living. Okay. In their uh late seventies and early eighties. And what? still cooking. And, and, and still participating, still family reunions, birthday parties. Absolutely. Okay, funerals, all that, they cooking uh, for it. Funerals, yes. Okay, <laughs> okay. So what, what, you remember the first time, you know what I'm saying, they put all the responsibility on you for the holidays and say, hey, yo, Elliot, you up? That was about, uh, I think it was 1988. 1988. 1988. That was a good year right there, man. It was a very good year. Yeah, that's when Def Jam came out. Okay. Okay. Uh, that, that's when uh, 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 Bobby Brown them had then, then left New Edition. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was a good year. Very 100%. good year. 100%. That when Michael Jackson was on the on, on the on the bad tour. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I Come remember on now. that. I remember that. Yeah, I know what time it is. There you go. I know what time it is, there man. There you go. So after the cornbread, then came what? Well, since being from Atlanta, uh, true Atlanta, Grady Baby, okay. uh, we did a lot of soul food. You're very disrespectful. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. I was, I was respect for you, Decatur I see, I see. Uh, residency. Mm -hmm. uh, but we did a lot of soul food. Okay. So if we grew it, it was in the pot. So okay. greens, you know, snapping pole beans in the backyard, you know. Okay. Not the cans. So we didn't have canned anything. Still don't have canned. Okay. Uh, but, uh, you know. So you've been on growing your own vegetables. Y'all been on that? My last name is Farmer. That's what it was. Okay. We, yeah, absolutely. Still grow them. Got to this day. To this day. You got a farm in your backyard. I got a little, little something going on. I can dig it. I, I got can, a little something you, going you, on. You, I see you've been brought your own spices over here with your face on there. Yeah. yeah Chef you, Elliot, soul shaking seasoning. Soul shaking seasoning. <laughs> All purpose, low sodium. Okay. For, so I, we, we ain't doing Lyra's no more. Don't do that. Okay. Save your blood pressure. I want to save my blood pressure. Yeah, I'm 40 now. Yeah. I just turned 40 in May. Okay. And whatnot. I'm trying to live a little bit longer. You're going to do that. I'm walking seven miles a day. We're going to keep on doing uh, it. So tell me what's inside of this uh, this, uh, uh, this spice, man. This soul shaking uh, um, seasoning. Well, actually, uh, I want to make you a plate because most of the dishes that I have right here uh -huh. is seasoned with my Chef Elliot's soul shaking seasoning. Okay. All right, man. Can I, can I make you something? If you don't mind. Yeah, I'm going to make you something. So what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to do a little quarter of a pineapple. A quarter of a pineapple. quarter of a pineapple. Wow. We got some. Safe word, pineapples. Herb rice. Okay. Yeah, just for look, just, just a little right there. Like All that, right. Right there. I see what you did. Yeah, we're going to just put a, let's put some, uh, 
sauteed shrimp, which is flavored with some butter, right? Man, I can't do this by myself. Wiz, come on over here, man. All right, come on, Wiz. Come get you a plate, baby. We're going to put, put you a little bit of this teriyaki chicken breast right there. Wiz, did you bring your appetite, bro? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just kind of do that like that. You got to make it rain. You got to make it rain on it. It's there. a different green, but it's still rain. I see what you did. Try that out right there, and I'm going to give you some shrimp and grits. Oh, and shrimp and grits? Absolutely. Man, okay, it ain't never a wrong time for it. Huh? I see what you're doing. Yeah. This looks sexy. Hey, hey. Just like food, on TV. Food should look sexy. Okay. You're going to eat with your eyes before you eat with your palate. Man, I do everything with my eyes. Well, one of them. This is crazy. So we got some smoked Gouda grits. Now listen, it take me two hours to cook my grits. And what is that? Wow. I don't like them gritty. I like them creamy. These shrimp is amazing, bro. That's that, that's that Chef Elliot's home chicken seasoning. Okay. I want you to try some of these shrimp and grits. Okay. Let me Be see what's going on that. right here. Be careful with that. Okay, it's hot too. It's a little hot. It's a little hot. It's hot. Come on, let's get one. This is crazy right here, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm eating grits and it ain't no wrong time to eat some grits. I Listen, see I eat breakfast for lunch, dinner, okay. snack, and before bedtime. Wow. Isn't that all right? It's like a party in my mouth and everyone's invited. Every, well, I don't know. This is crazy. Now. But yeah. And the thing is, it's, it's a New Orleans flavor, right? I, I've been flavor. there two times. Yeah, I was at the Essence Festival before. Yeah, this is New Orleans flavor. A uh, New Orleans flavor. Okay. Absolutely. Let him get a little bit right here. This is delicious, Elliot. Thank you. You do this. Just a little something I pulled together in about an hour. Appreciate you. Hey, man, man with, right with all the mental health the, uh, uh, awareness going on these days and whatnot, yes. you know, you got, you got to put me... You take me take me with you. Like, what what are you thinking about when you're making this stuff? Where where are you at mentally? So I'm in a zone, and actually, cooking for me is very therapeutic. Okay. And I have a psychology background, so mm -hmm. I know all too well about mental health. Okay. But what you want to do is allow the food to do its thing for you, because what you're doing, if you focus on who you're cooking for, why you're cooking for them. Okay. Allow that love to come up out of you. Okay. From your ancestors. Okay. And let it pour out into your food. Now you're preaching. It's going to it's going to do what it's supposed to do. And it's gonna calm you down without you even realizing you're calming yourself down. Because you're now focused on the food versus what your problem was. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I love what you just did right there. Absolutely. This is delicious, man. Absolutely. I want you to try one of these desserts here, too. Okay. Yeah, we got you a no bake. Normally, I wouldn't do this because it'll go straight to my hips. Okay, but, but you you're know, doing that seven miles a day, right? Yeah, I'm doing the seven miles. We're just going to do seven and a half Okay, I think time, I, right? I have a little bit in the yeah, name of Jesus. we're going to do it seven since, and a half and work that off. Since I'm here. Since you're here. Since I'm here. I got one for you, too, Will. Okay. What's that tasting like? Hmm, it's bussin'. That's what the new people be saying, this bussin'. 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 Yeah. This is... A man, what is this? That's a no baked cherry cheese pie. A no baked cherry cheese pie. That means you didn't bake it. You didn't bake it. Okay, that's what the no on the bake. I oh, got it. I see what you yeah, did. Yeah, that's got. That's it. That's it. Okay. Isn't that nice? It, it, this is this is amazing. Yeah. I man. don't know what I was doing before. Yeah, well, you was doing all this right. This is a three course meal. Easy. This is all amazing. of this. An hour. Maybe an hour and a half with cleanup. You put this. You put a. You 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 made up this whole this whole uh, uh, entree, in an hour and a half, including cleanup. Wow. People think cooking takes all day and all night because mm. that's what we were taught. Mm. I was taught that you cook collard greens all night. You cook uh -huh. a ham all night. Okay. Listen, that's too much for me. It's too much. Yeah. That's too much. So I cook my collard greens at least a third thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. Once it starts boiling, time thirty minutes. Turn that sucker off. Keep it covered. The steam is going to tenderize those greens on its own. You ain't got to cook all them out. Then if you could do that, you're cooking all the nutrients and vitamins out anyway. I need my nutrients and my vitamins. You got, So you don't have to always do seven miles. I, I don't want right? to always do it. Right. And then what we're doing is is we're taking away from our family time. Mm -hmm. When you're in the kitchen all the time, everybody having a good time, family time, but you. Mm -hmm. That's going to create a little you know, negative energy in the household. 100%. I didn't even so think about it like that. Be able to create something that's going to be good, going to be healthy, and going to be quick.
Mm -hmm. And I have those in my cookbooks, recipes in my cookbooks. You got a cookbook too? I have several. Wow. Yeah, put an S on that for me. Amanda, I'm, I'm sorry I'm disrespecting you, bro. I apologize with your, I got a few with your successful ass. No, no, I can't help it. Come on, man. You, so you in Amazon and all that? Where, people, where can people find your cookbook? Listen, right now, if you go to my website, www.chefelliot.com. Okay. In-house. In-house. Saving all that extra money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chef Elliot, that's C-H-E-F-E-L-L-I-O-T-T, -L -L two L's, two T's. Mm. Dot com. You'll be able to get my seasoning. You'll be able to see what my uh, next thing coming up is. You'll be able to get my cookbooks and any other stuff that I have out there in merchandise. One hundred percent, absolutely. Chef Elliot, what man? What is it all about for you? What do you want ultimately? The ultimate thing that I want is to have my own cooking show again. You, a lot of you, have seen me on the Food Network. Mm -hmm. uh, you know they still running reruns, especially the Christmas episode I did, Naughty or Nice. Woo! They, they're going to start showing that again, I'm sure, around November, right? You're very accomplished. The Lord has been kind. Mm -hmm. The Lord has been kind. You've seen me on HLN as guest celebrity chef for mm -hmm. a lot of the anchors that have cook-off shows. Or you've seen me on The Taste when it aired on ABC, mm -hmm. if I'm able to do that. You've seen me on my own YouTube channels, you know, Chef Elliot. Uh, farmer, so yeah, we make guest appearances a lot of times. And, and, and you, you tell me you coming back to New Jack Thriller City, right? Please tell if me that. I'm invited back. Man, I you're definitely honored. invited back. You, yeah, this I is your second honored. home now. Yes, we'd love to have you. I'm Yo, honored. Wiz, can he come back? Yeah, of course. That, there it is, right there, man. Yeah, this, this, of course. course. Yeah, come on, man. Now, when you enjoy I come yourself? Back, I'm gonna make some cornbread. We'd love that. I'm gonna make some cornbread, and I'm gonna make you some oxtail. Man, I want some oxtail. Some cornbread, and what goes cornbread, oxtail, you gotta have the rice. I'm gonna make you a mess of greens. That's what we call them in Atlanta. Yeah, we call them mess, I don't know what you call them in Decatur. But in Atlanta, we call them a mess of greens. Okay, I see what you did to me again. Hey, before you go, could you just, um, you just reminded me of something. Yeah. Cat Williams had this joke on his latest special what about say? oxtails. What did he say? Like, what, what is oxtails made for? from what part of the is it a cow is it a, is it a is it an ox where is that oh it's definitely the tail of the ox okay it's exactly what it is some got a little meat some got a little bone okay. i try to get in between i see what you did right there <laughs> i'm excited about it i'm excited about it yeah. oxtail is coming soon absolutely yo chef elliot man thanks for coming to new jack thriller city man is there anything you want to say to our uh audience man before we get up out of here Listen, I would love for you to follow me on social media. You can get me on IG at Dr. Chef Elliot Farmer. That's C-H-E-F-E-L-L-I-O-T-T -T, Farmer. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. Chef Elliot. Just do two L's, two T's. Hit me up. I love to travel with you. We travel all you over travel. the world. Okay. We travel all over the it's world. It's not my, a problem. It's not. A, listen, my passport is always current. Okay. Always current. And you know what's funny about you too, man? You, you, you didn't always like cooking. Oh, I hated it. You hated it. When passion. did that change for you? When people start paying me. God damn. All right, there it is right there. You give me a little money, I'll cook whatever you want. Okay, just <laughs> as simple as that. But now Come you got to give me a little more than a little money. Come, I see what you yeah, did. Yeah, but absolutely. I cook whatever you want. Daddy, hey, Chef Elliot, y'all. New Jack Thriller City. Let's go. Hey, what's up? This your boy Jack Thriller, man. Love according to music. Going right on in. So, music. Uh, what's your take on prenuptial agreements? Um, I have, it has come to my understanding that they are extremely necessary and very important for people who have assets to protect. Um, and it's not fair for someone to simply benefit all, off, off of all of your hard work because things didn't work out in the relationship, you know? Now, not to be mistaken for, because I don't, I don't fully know, and I have to do some research on um, the details of it, but I don't know if it entails, you know, uh, certain things or if it doesn't. So, for instance, um, in my opinion, I think it's only right that when you came into my life and whatever you contributed to that, you know, you can make a case for. But everything before, is, I, it should be off limits to you. You know, so if I'm of a certain net worth, but when you came in, you can you contributed by being an asset to my life. You probably participated in things that helped to generate, you know, uh, uh, 
what contributed to my overall net worth. That percentage, you know, I think that there is a timeline that needs to be respected. And if you want to talk about divvying out, you know, whatever, you know, it should be according to that, but not the whole thing. Because it takes time, you know, for a lot of people that become super, super successful. It, it takes a lot of time for that. There's a lot of work and a lot of build up, a lot of, you know, sleepless nights and, you know, long hours and, you know, trial and error and loss and gains. So for you to just move in on the back end and maybe two or three years or whatever, or five years, and then stuff don't work out. And we're just really just talking about marriage because that's what a prenup is, you know, uh, uh, um, is uh, um, relevant to. Um, I don't think that it's fair for, for you to, you know, get a percentage off of the whole thing, off of my whole situation, you know, because because I hear that argument. Of, well, I, you know, I contributed too, and if it wasn't for me, ah, da da. Facts. So let's just talk about that segment of my life, you know, with the time where you came in, you know. So I think that you know, they should they should be heavily advocated for because it's important for you to protect, you know, the things that you built and you worked hard for. That nobody was with you shooting in the gym, you know, with. So, nah, own that. You know, and, you know, I think that that's, that's no one. And I think that, you know, you know I, can only, I can only imagine only women who may have something to say about that. Don't be so off-putting by that. You should respect the fact that a person takes, you know, care of the things that they worked hard for. Because that's, that's the same energy that you're going to get. That's the same energy that your family is going to get. And it's going to let nobody just, you know, take from them like that. They'd like to secure you know, things that are important to them. So, yeah, in my humble opinion. Now, what do you say to that person that says, and um, let me know if you answered this already, that says, man, you're going into a situation with a, a negative um, a, agenda already by getting a prenuptial agreement. How was that negative? Uh, because you're expecting the, uh, it, that it's a possibility that it'll fail, whereas you should, Go in there with a attitude that, hey, this is gonna work either either way. So, but if, and if it don't, then we are gonna just suffer the consequences of a failed relationship. And what happens with that? But is, we suffering the consequences of a failed relationship shouldn't shouldn't uh, uh, result. have a have a negative result on everything I built. Like, so I have a negative attitude towards making sure that regardless of what happens between you and I, certain things that need to be, you know, secure are secured. Mm. That's having a negative attitude. Then don't protect yourself from anything then. Mm. Don't have a security system on your house. You're entering into it negatively. You just acting like people gonna break into your house and steal your stuff. Mm. You shouldn't think like that. You should be positive and operate out of abundance. Mm. You know, like, come on, man. Mm. I, can, I can be positive and optimistic. I can be grateful even and still be protective. Mm. It's why I'm protective mm. because it, it had, it's that valuable to me. Mm. I'm, that's what I would say to that. Hey man, yo, you totally answered my question. Right. I'm definitely gonna get a prenuptial agreement music. Yeah, yeah. Hey, with that being said, I'm gonna see you next time on Love According to Music. Yo, I got my man over here. Yo, where? Daddy. Yo, man, he did, I, I got the, um, you know, the internet sensation. You know, yesterday he had like over 10 million hits online and counting. You, I first seen him like, I think I, I want to say it was a Popeyes or something. You know, he had some chicken and, you know, he started doing the funky chicken out there. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the boy got his own dance moves and whatnot. It's the man, the myth, the legend known formerly as the Groovy Gorilla. Yo, I give you Big Crew. What's up, boy? What's up? How you been, baby? How I'm you been? Good. How you been, boy? Man, I've been great. I feel blessed. God, man, blessings, blessings, blessings. Man, I'm just glad to be here. Glad to put smiles on people's faces. I'm out here. I'm ready. And dog, you everywhere right now, man. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, I watched your following climb, like, dramatically. <laughs> Like, I remember when you had, like, 10,000 followers. And what you had damn near, what, 300,000? Uh, like, 270K. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. man. Tell me about the love, man. Tell me, like, yeah. you don't, everywhere you go, everybody, like, you you changing the game. I seen Bobby Schmurda. You was on his <laughs> shit. You were seen you with Snoop Dogg. Yeah. You know, everybody is getting in the groove. One Nation under the groove. <laughs> One Nation under the groove. 
<laughs> everyone's grooving. They grooving, you know, man. It's awesome because when people like see me in public, they'd be like, yo, who's that dancing guy? And they'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just start laughing because I'm like, the fact that I'm over here dancing, be myself, and they're appreciating it, it just makes me smile. Man, it's pretty do, dope. <laughs> where did it start it and what made you do that? It goes way back. I was like a kid and, um, you know, you got served. That's like the core of everything. You know, everybody, you know, when you saw that movie, you're just like, yeah. I was just like, we'll be practicing the moves. And I'm like, yo, I love this. And um, I was overweight. I was really overweight. So that's when it, it comes into the fitness. Mm -hmm. And between being overweight and dancing, I'm like, yo, I want to like be able to move better. So that kind of like motivated me to like, you know, lose weight so I could dance better. And after that, I started becoming a bodybuilder and it never stopped. So I just kept going and going and going. Get out of here. Yeah. And so, like, when we when we first saw you online dancing, that wasn't the first time you had actually been inside a fast food establishment and, you know, acting a goddamn food. <laughs> nah, nah. Like, man, food always makes me, like, you know, I be, I be getting it. You know, when I eat something, I be happy and I be dancing. You know how when you eat something so good, you're just like... He's just happy, and that's always been me. I, I just food. ate uh, <laughs> Chef Elliot food just now, and that's how I was. <laughs> I was in my seat. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I'm not, I'm not a, a great dancer. I used to be back in the day when I used to strip at pinups and whatnot. But you know, as a 40 year old man, <laughs> I, I didn't lost it. That was back when my name was Bob Wire. <laughs> Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. He's small, but he'll cut you. That was my whole little model and whatnot. <laughs> but that's the old me, man. That's the old me. Um, let's let's talk about the the the, the, the name change. Okay. <laughs> So when I first, actually, my name was Clive Too Fit before. Clive Too Fit. Yeah, Clive Too Fit. You got a real black name. <laughs> hey, hey, Clive. What, man? What's up, Clive? What you doing, know, baby? That's a first. You got a 70s That's name. <laughs> um, so, so I was thinking, like, you know, I want to change my name because I started dancing. Because before I blew up, I used to just, like, do my work. Hey, hey, don't be so modest. <laughs> yeah, no, before I even blew up, I used to just just dance. I'd just be in the gym. I'd just be, like, you know, dancing, dancing in the gym. Everyone in the gym looking at me crazy. And I'd be like, I, I'm just going to just put it on social media. I don't even care anymore. So that's how it really started. That's why I saw it. You, you was in the gym. Yeah, that's where it gotcha. really started. Yeah. Okay. So I was just, like, you know, I was competing for my first competition. So, like, I had no social life. It was always just eat. Sleep, gym, repeat. So I'm like, I'm going to just dance in the gym. Mm. So, um, and I'm like, yeah, I want to change my name, something more catchy. And I'm like, yeah, I'm really, like, I love gorillas. And I'm like, oh, I'm big. Like, I'm like, big like a gorilla. That's dope. So I'm like, all right, Grooving Gorilla. Mm. That sounds dope. And then my friend was like, uh, it was like, Doug Grooving Gorilla. And then she's like, no, Grooving Gorilla. I'm like, yeah, Grooving Gorilla. That's hard. <laughs> so I'm like, that's a catchy name. Mm -hmm. Just in case, you know, when I'm um, performing for my competition, and they're like, Ruben Gorilla on the stage. That's mm. what I was thinking. I yeah, never yeah. think this was going to happen. For sure. So um, so when I started blowing up, a lot of people... Don't be a, so modest. No, <laughs> a lot of people, like, I didn't really think of it as, like, a race thing at all. It was just like, you mm. know, Gorilla, I, like, kind of... It came from like a genuine place. I saw it. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, and I'm... So, and then at the same time, people were just like, you know, branding-wise, it's not a good look because they don't want, like, Caucasians referring to me as a gorilla and I was like I I understand that so I'm like for marketing purposes I'm gonna change it to like big groove you so respectful <laughs> Caucasian <laughs> <laughs> yeah I can dig it I can dig it so that's how all that like happened with that mm, yeah. mm. I, I can dig it so like when people like um do that, that, that like myself like I remember when you made the name change and you yeah. explained that yeah and whatnot and yeah. uh was that was you at first was you scared like damn everybody know me is this is it gonna be is this gonna change the, like my flow if i change my name right now yeah i mean yeah it did i was just, i was like deciding i'm like uh i mean you made a big impact in a short period of time bro yeah 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 and um i was like you know but everyone like the real the real people who really rock with me are gonna always mm. be like hey gorilla dude they still do yeah because <laughs> at this particular point yeah. it's like an aka yeah you exactly, know what i'm saying exactly yeah so, you know, but I was just like, you know, long term, branding wise, it's a smarter decision. So, like, right, I'm going to do it. Mm. It's cool. You know, but Groovin' Gorilla is still like, you know, I'm still like ready to go. Word, so, word. Yeah. <laughs> I had seen you uh, also when I knew it was catching on. Uh, you was at one of my, my uh, homeboys, uh, Shannon Walden. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know Shannon? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He does the, um, what you call that shit when you got the earphones on and 
Silent parties. Yes, yeah. You was at the silent party in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, doing your thing. Yeah, yeah. That was my first time, and I was like, oh, I'm going to cut up. I was handing all the different music in there. It was dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you like you always having a good time, man. Yeah, exactly. That's what life is about. I can't imagine you having a bad day. (laughs) It's like you, you one of them guys where, you know, like you, you like really, you put on, you give everybody, you pour into everybody and whatnot. And I, I wonder, like, is there anybody pouring back into you when you walk off set or are you still just as happy, man? Man, I'd be in my own zone. Like, okay. I'd I be in the clubs, just be like, yo, I see everyone just hugging the walls. I'd be like, I'll go in the, right in the middle, start cutting up. <laughs> Not just me, naturally. Yeah. You don't need, because you know people don't dance no more. <laughs> Have you noticed back. that? Yeah. What do you think that is, bro? Man. Why they stop grooving? No pun intended. Nah, you know, all these masculine men, they just wanted to be cool. They'd be like, yeah, you know, no, nah, that looks too weird. I'm not going to do that because, yo, I'm trying to be cool, but, like, be yourself. Yeah. And half the people just want to be the same because they don't want to be judged or mm. look upon. But, like, you got to just not really care. And once yeah. I tapped into that, it's just like, I, f- I feel free. And you know what? People don't even realize they're being judged by people that, that are insecure with their own, their own selves exactly. and whatnot. Exactly. And they still trying to figure it out. Yeah. And when people just start to realize that nobody really gives a fuck <laughs> and just move on with your life and Straight just live up. and let live, then I think we'll be all inside of a better place, man. Yeah. Everyone just loves themselves. Mm. And, you know, that's what's most important. Your happiness. Nobody else's. Like, your happiness. And once you you feel happy with yourself, nobody else's opinion matters because you know you love what you're doing. Now, hey, you better preach. Yeah. You, you better preach. <laughs> so where you from, man? Are you from Chicago? No. Um, I grew up in um, Lawrence, Massachusetts. It's like this. I've never city. heard of that. Yeah. I grew up with like a lot of Dominicans, and Puerto Ricans. That's where I, like, I learned never how to knew wine. It. Okay. Yeah, that's why I know how to dance and move them hips. So okay. I got it from them. <laughs> I never noticed that until you just said that just now. <laughs> yeah. As you notice how to, you, okay, you're moving them hips. And, yeah. And so, I'm, 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 who makes your outfits for you? <laughs> no, I just look. I'm a, look. Where you uh, get these out? Where you buy all these shorts at, man? You just got all the little shorts. Yeah, because I'm like, yo, I'm a, I have some. Problems. You gonna show your curve? <laughs> if you ain't gonna do shit, you gonna show your goddamn. Curve. <laughs> Niggas is gonna get these curves. <laughs> they be mad and be like, why you don't show your legs? Cause I got big legs. Where your legs at? Oh yeah. Chicken legs, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's why. Hey, I I'm, you see, my, I'm, you see, I'm hiding my legs. Yeah. I don't know. I open them up so you can't see. I'm, I'm hiding behind my desk legs. Every, everybody ain't able. Everybody ain't able, man. I'm gonna put my legs up, man. You, you got damn, you, you doing your thing over yeah. there, man. And, and so, like, who is the person that helped get you get in shape? Because this ain't no shit that you just go and do in the gym by your damn no, self. No, it's just self motivation. Okay. Like it started. It started off. I, I you gotta want it first of mm. all. You gotta want it. Okay. Self motivation is very important. Okay. No trainer is gonna help you get to your goals when you're not even self motivated yourself. Yeah, damn. So once you're self motivated, that's the first step mm. to like seeing change. Mm-hmm. So my self motivation got me to a point where it's just like I man, I worked really hard, and that's when coaches seek to me to be to get into bodybuilding. I never even wanted to be a bodybuilder, but it's more of like, I love challenges. And it's like, man, I got this far. I lost like a hundred pounds. You know, I feel good. Pounds, yeah. yeah. I'd be on the stair step of running just like a bull. People next to me just be like, yo, <laughs> like I, I apply that energy everywhere. So um, I got into bodybuilding and then that's when I really like took off. Cause I saw those people on stage. I'm like, yeah, I want to win. I want to be on stage and, you know, pose, maybe dance on stage. And that's where it all started. Mm. So I always like to be like, you know, be a star. No, dude, that's exactly what you are right now. <laughs> What's your diet like, man? You, you saw we, we had the food with Chef Elliot. Did you yeah. get some of that food, man? Yeah, yeah, I tried the rice and shit. Ooh, wow. Makes me group. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I love food. I oh, love food. I can dig it. I can dig it 100%. Um, but, um, so I'm on a strict diet. See, I love food. You know, I used to be very overweight, but like now, like, since I you was you was very overweight. When you say overweight, what was your heaviest weight? Um, I was 16, 200. 15 pounds. Sounds pretty Nigga, big. that ain't overweight. No, it's pretty big. I'm trying to get that now. <laughs> I'm pretty big at the time. I'm 275. I'm trying to get to 215. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. What's going on? This is Jack Thriller. That's right, man. And uh, if you're feeling down in the dumps and you don't have nobody to talk to, you're just sad and you just don't know what to do. Hey, I got the thing for you, man. It's therapy. It's therapy, and there's nothing wrong with getting therapy, man. It's called BetterHelp, betterhelp.com. 
We have counselors online 24 seven that are here to talk to you. And I guarantee if somebody is not fitting your needs, we got somebody definitely for you, man. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a therapist. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed therapists available 100% online. So if you go ahead and get down with us right now, you can take 10% off your first monthly subscription. That's right, betterhelp.com slash thriller and tell them Jack Thriller sent you. Save 10% off your first month of betterhelp.com slash thriller. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com dash thriller. I was just that like, you know, chubby, really thick, chubby, double chin, and it was, you had the double chin, chin too, bro. Yeah, I had the double chin, yeah. God damn, how you get rid of the chin? Man, what you do diet. with it? It's really diet. It's, it's all just, diet. And you know, you ain't got lot, the exercise. Look, it, it was a process though, because okay. you know, it, it starts off with one people eating just once a day and thinking okay. they're gonna lose weight. That's yeah. not the way to do it. That ain't it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then it started off like, oh yeah, I'm just not gonna eat no carbs. Like I tried every single diet, but in reality, you gotta do what fits your body type. Okay. There's no right body. There's no right diet that. Oh yeah, if you go ahead and his diet, you're gonna look like him. It's literally your body type mm. and what you're sensitive to because foods make you bloat and it makes you harder to lose water weight and it makes you harder to lose weight when you're always bloated mm. you know what i'm saying so once you trial you know test out what type of foods flow easy no um no bloat then you could really kind of like pick the type of foods you eat because like with me rice i can't eat a lot of sweet potatoes because that blows me but rice chicken steak fish any any type of fish Fats don't really I don't really do well with fats carbs. I'm really good with carbs And then once I figure that out, then I have I know exactly what to eat okay. every single day and before like me moving around I would eat six meals a day and I did that for nine years straight up boom 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 okay. consistently So like me getting to this side it was just eating like the same meals But that's just a bodybuilder diet okay. like lifestyle You don't need to do that because then it goes into macros and that's just like a whole nother subject of like diet but yeah, you a nerd. With yeah, this knowing shit. all that. Yeah, yeah really, like, really what, what is this nigga talking about? Yeah, I'm really into fitness. Mm. That's why I'm, you know, I'm having a fitness dance class coming soon. Okay. Yeah. Yo, yeah. You could do like the next Darren's dance groove type shit. Straight up. You remember Darren's dance groove? <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. And it, yo, his name wasn't even. It, his name wasn't even Groove either. <laughs> you got that shit. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, man, dog, I'm wishing you all the, the success and what you you found your lane for real, for man, real. Man, I appreciate it. What that. did your mama say when she, she found out so you were famous? Yo, she was so happy. But she was always like, you know, you're always so hyperactive as a kid. And like, you mm. always had so much energy. I knew you were meant for something big. And I'm like, man, thank I appreciate that, mom. I love you. Mm. <laughs> mm. So she's really happy. She's just, you know, really supportive and just wants to keep pushing me, you know. Was this from day way. one? From day one, yeah. From day, from day one. one, yeah. Okay. <laughs> from day one, because I always just, just always had a lot of energy, you know. So, what, do you remember before when, like, hey, you know, Mama, I'm popping right now. You remember <laughs> telling her that, and she not understanding what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah I was just like, yo, like all my, because I have two brothers. I have an older brother and a younger brother, okay. and then they're like, yo. He's viral right now. My mom's like, what is, what do you mean viral? Well, he's sick. <laughs> he, he got that thing. <laughs> he's viral. He's viral. He's dancing everywhere. Okay. You know, Snoop Dogg reposted him. You know, uh, Mario reposted him, all this. And then she's like, oh, wow, this is my son. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, it was, it was crazy. You African. Yeah, I'm Nigerian. I just heard it in your mama voice with you. <laughs> I'm Nigerian. Yeah. Wow. You sound just like your mama, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, Nigerian. Yeah. Are you, uh, you First generation, my uh, uh, Nigerian. Yeah, first generation, yeah. Wow, yeah. dig, dig, dig. Yeah. You do, so you you moved over here. Yeah, my, my mom and my father moved to Germany. Okay. So my, um, they moved from Nigeria. I was born in Germany with my older brother. You military? No, no. He was just uh, looking. He's got a good job, dealership, and they just decided to sell it. Mean, German car. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then we moved to America. Mom and dad split up. Mom no. took care of three boys. No. Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> Yeah, so she was a hard worker. She really gave us a better life, and mm. we moved to a you know a Caucasian neighborhood. That's okay. why I'm so proper. Caucasian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so proper. Got us away from the hood, mm. and really like helped us you know get an education. And so now it's time to make her proud and get her house. I, I can dig it. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, 
love my mama. I can dig it. Hey, do, do your daddy mad at you? Like, is he still in your life? Yeah, yeah. He be hitting me up like, oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I know you popping you know, right yeah, now. Yeah, what like you, you know, you were Facebook. You were Snoop Dogg. You were dancing. So I was like, yeah. He trying to hang around your yeah. ass now. <laughs> you know. I can dig it. I can dig it. Was he? Was he still paying child support? Nah, nah. He was tripping. Yeah. Now he want to be in your life. Yeah, this you know, nigga makeup time, makeup time. Bro. I can dig it. You gonna let him back in or no? I mean, you know, you... man, fuck him. Uh, it was like I, uh, I'll keep it like you know. Yeah, neutral. Oh, I'm Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Neutral. I can dig it. I can dig it. <laughs> word, word. So I mean, what's next for you, man? Because I was over here talking to your manager just a second ago, and we was like, "Yo, you got to get inside this, this, uh, this, these supplements and yeah, I'm get your own outfits going. Energy drink, apparel. Yes. Acting. Pre-acting. Acting. I'm gonna get, hop on TV commercials. Um, I'm doing my Shark Bite tour. Um, going to different restaurants, taking. Big bites. I have a huge mouth, so take bites, dance when the food is popping, show my personality, and then we're gonna like turn it into a show. So we're on, we're doing that. We're on tour. Like we did Detroit was my first. Now it's Atlanta, and then we're gonna do Dallas, Houston, Miami, and New York. You on tour? Yeah. That's what's Eating. up, man. And that was like, <laughs> when I was a kid. When I was like when I was a kid, I'm like I want to I want to eat everything. I want to try every food in different countries, and I'm like now I can really kind of make that happen. Man versus food. Oh, hold on. Bodybuilder, fitness style. Come on, come on, food versus Dancing. groove. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> what, what's the wildest thing you done ate so far? Uh, I had frog, frog legs. Frog legs. Yeah, they're pretty good, though. Yeah? Yeah. You do it again? Yeah, I'm open to eating different things. I'll eat, like, alligator, like, bugs or whatever. Hey, what about barbecue puppy legs? I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. I see what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> what's one of the biggest misconceptions about you? Hmm. What do people always say? You always got to correct them. Um, I don't know. Because I'm big and I'm a bodybuilder, they think I'm supposed to be just angry and just walk around like I'm tough all the time. Mm. But, like, that, I think that's what makes it, like, odd, odd for people to see this big dude always smiling and mm. just kind of, like, just, you know, being himself. Mm. So I think that is definitely the biggest thing because they expect me to be in that one category. Oh, he's a bodybuilder, big. He lives hard. He should, he should have a deep voice. Why is his voice like, like, like that? It doesn't make sense. You do have a deep dancing. voice. You have a very deep voice. But they say I, I don't have a deep voice. They say like I talk like soft. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. It's cool. It's Man, fuck they. <laughs> they always saying some bullshit. Yeah, you know. So I'm basically just like showing men that, you know, you could be yourself and you can still, you know, do your thing and not feel like you have to act a certain way. Mm -hmm. Like I just think it's ridiculous. Just be yourself and live your life, and you'll be more happy. Right, right, yeah. right. Man, yeah, that is proje projecting their own insecurities yeah, on you. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> hey, hey, so you know, uh, um, I seen you doing something with my boy uh, uh, Daniel, Daniel Jane, <laughs> and uh, I think that was the same video that you did where you was with Bobby Smurder and them. Yeah, yeah. And whatnot. It's when Daniel we were cutting up. <laughs> yeah, y'all was acting a fool on that mother. Yeah. Y'all had everybody on. We had all the dancers, all the influencers, all the dancing motherfuckers. Yes, oh. yeah. <laughs> even even that other African boy, they be dancing outside yeah, the club. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Famous Amos, yo, we were Famous we were Amos was there, yeah. Because you know Famous be going crazy, so I'm like, yeah. yo, this video's about to be hype. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yo, so like, did y'all have a dance contest, like a real uh, official dance contest on that video? Uh, we were just like all taking turns. Like, oh, we actually did like a, like, you know, going against each other type of mm. vibe. But we were all like taking turns, just cutting up, doing our own like, you know, moves. In your mind, you smoked all them niggas. Uh, I mean, like, I have my own style, you know, different. You know, I be moving. The, I be, oh, like, don't be so modest. <laughs> yo, yo, you know, because the famous be cutting up. You yeah, know he be I mean? cutting up. Same thing with Mufasa. They all have their own style, but we put it together. And mm. It was like, it's just energy, you know? Mm. So. Now, man, what's the wildest part about being famous, bro? Man, I don't know. <laughs> come on, come on. Maybe now. like always just like walking somewhere and then having someone knows me, you come up to me like for pictures and it's just crazy. Like, especially kids when they're like all nervous to take a picture with mm -hmm. me. Their parents are like, oh my God. I'm just like, yo, man, I love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. So I think just walking around and just having someone notice me all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just like, man, I can't believe this is a thing. <laughs> so what, what could you do without? Hmm. Yo, there was one time this dude came with a flash and he's like, put it in my face. He's like, yo, let me see you shake something. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> yo, yo, hold up. Nah, nah. Whoa. I hate that when they put a flash in my face like that. Yeah. I don't like that. That's yeah, a, yeah. That's a no, no. <laughs> yeah, people keep on forgetting that you're human. Yeah. You know, they think they own you just because, you know what I'm saying, you 
you do things to make people happy. You are you are you're a public figure now, yeah. <laughs> in every sense of the word. Yeah. Word word. So, what uh, uh, if your life was a movie? What would it be called? Man. Move with groove. Move with groove. And who would you get to play you? Hmm. <laughs> Who would I get to play me? You still young enough to play you now. Yeah, I don't know. But then you know what? If if I if, if I'm doing my own movie, yeah, I'm probably getting Chris Brown to play me or Michael B. Yeah. Jordan. Why not? Right? I'll probably get like Terry Crews because he's my competitor. I like it. I like it. Have you met him yet? <laughs> no, nah, not yet. Okay, not yet. But I definitely want to dance battle. Who who was somebody that you uh, was surprised that that knew you, um, or that you thought you'd never meet? Man, there's a lot. Uh, man. <laughs> well, Snoop Dogg, honestly. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's Dogg. crazy. You know what's crazy? Snoop, th there was this moment where he was doing his grand opening of his store. Mm -hmm. And I was just there because I'm like, you know, I'm just going to show up there and see what happens. And before he, like, did the cutting of the uh, ribbon, he, like, points, he points at me and he goes, and I was like, yo, <laughs> that was crazy. That moment right there was dope. Word. That moment, it was so dope. <laughs> you remember the first thing uh, you said to him and he said to you? He was just like, man, I like what you do, man. You be bringing joy. My family rocks with you. You just keep doing you, keep being you. And I'm like, man, that shit got me emotional a little bit. <laughs> Come on, man. Dope. I cried. I cried when I found out he knew me, man. I I still cry every time I see him, niggas, man. Yeah, yeah it was dope. childhood hero. Yeah. You know, <laughs> dig, dig, dig. Who you want to meet that you hadn't met? I want to meet Terry Crews. <laughs> I want to meet Terry Crews. Okay, because you always get in comparisons. To yeah, they, every time they're like Terry Crews. I'm like, imagine me and him doing like a uh, Old Spice commercial, like double the spice. Like mm. that's genius. <laughs> Dog, I can see you on all kind of commercials and everything, man. You do voiceovers, all kind of stuff, man. They're, they're like, yo, the sky's the limit for somebody like you, bro. Yeah, like, I have some, I have most, you know, have some talents. You know, so I can dig know. it. Now, what's something about you that people be surprised to know? Any what? What's hidden talents? Hidden talents. Do you draw? Do you? you can you make quilts? Can <laughs> make quilts. <laughs> quilts. Uh, um. Can you make that fart noise with your hand doing this, right? <laughs> or you a gamer? Ooh. Anime. Yeah, I love anime. D. I love anime head, yeah. Okay. Anime. Yeah, yeah. Man. And people don't know I don't do it enough, but I love house music. I actually shuffle. That's where it actually started. I didn't even talk about that. I love to shuffle. I like house music. Okay, so I be going to festivals. That's something that they don't know. Okay. I be going to festivals, yeah. Okay. All that EDC, mm. you know, all those Caucasians going crazy, all head Caucasians. Yeah. <laughs> All my Caucasian friends, we be going there, and I be hyped because that area is like all positivity, and mm. it's just like energy. And I'm just like, I go there, and I'm just like, I could just release this. So I just be snapping, turning up, cutting up. It's crazy. I can dig be it. Forming circles, and it's wild. So you 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 like uh, Drake's new album? Yeah, Beyonce's yeah, like new yeah. album. Yeah, I like that. I like that house. I like that house. I can dig it, man. Put us on, man. Who who's some house artists that we need? You know what I'm saying? To look out for ourselves. Uh, hmm. Put us on. We ain't gonna know none of this shit. So yeah, you know, know, we you can't lose Probably with this Chami one. Chami or maybe Chami. Chami's fire. You type in Chami. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, about to dance to some Chami? That's what's about to happen right now? Is, this, I mean, is that what's going on here? Can't really shuffle like that. Yeah, you got to tell him how to spell Chami. Everybody know how to spell Chami. <laughs> you act um, like that was a regular word. Yeah. <laughs> and you know uh, Chami, right? You know, C-H-I. Chami. Chami. Yeah. T-C-H-I. You see it? Yeah. We is high right now, too, so you got to slow down. <laughs> Somebody, or Elliot just pointed out that his, his uh, lips was dark. <laughs> I didn't even know he smoked it today. Oh, he smoked his roaches. <laughs> oh, he smoked his roaches. I'm weak. <laughs> hey, yeah, we uh, about to get a fire stick in here and whatnot as soon as we get this Wi Fi back on. Any minute now, yeah. Yeah, he ain't got jokes today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is hot. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, it's that vibey. All right. Hey, 
All right, now cut that shit off for YouTube. Fuck our video. All right. I appreciate that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to check out Chummy in my spare time. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, dog, I, I really appreciate you coming out to the show, man. Thanks you know what I'm saying? Me, Thanks for tell, having me. Tell us what's the next for you, bro. Man, supplements, apparel, doing the shark bite tour, um, acting. I'm gonna jump in. I'm jumping to every single thing. I'm gonna have another new song coming through, tapping into everything. Hold on, you rapping? Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> what's your What's your rap name? Uh, it's gonna be Big Groove. Big okay. Groove, yeah. All right. Cool. Can, can yeah. you give him like a couple bars before you get up out of it? I had uh, off your song. last single. No, no, I had a song, but I dropped it because I feel like it's not for me. So what was it? Song. It's called Jig. It was called Jig. Man, go on. I want to hear some of this shit. It was just like she liked the way of that jig. You see the way of that jig, right foot over the left. Jig, jig. <laughs> I'm, like, Nick, I'm finna go download that on iTunes tonight. <laughs> that was the shit. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, man. Hey, man, once again, thanks for dropping through. You know what I'm saying? New Jack Thriller City, man. Hey, yes, you're man. always welcome to come back. Yo, you're a straight vibe, as the young people say. Hey, y'all yeah, give it up for man. Big Groove, man. Yeah, we are here. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Hey, do I have something in my eye? Y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Take us out, Wiz. <laughs>